Okay, so let's start with Immortality. As I said before, uh, this is a game, I don't know if I opened it or not. Okay, now I did. Uh, it's a game from Sam Barlow, which is the developer of Her Story and Telling Lies. Uh, it's my first ever FMV game, uh, full motion video game. And uh, yeah, I am excited to to see how I will like it. The movies of Marisa Marcel are presented untouched or edited and reflect the values of their times. Viewers are encouraged to check the content warning on the main menu for a description of content which may offend or upset. Remember, exclamation mark, game, TW, and that will show you the trigger warning which is copied from uh, this. Or wait, I actually can do this. Yeah, it's li I, co I literally copied this from their website. So yeah, this is basically what this game contains. And you can see it on the top of the screen too. Uh, on, like, however, on the top of the screen, I don't think it's complete because it's a huge chunk of text. And uh, yeah, I think it will disappear before it reaches the end. So, uh, options. What? What? Wh why am I here? About. Blasphemy regarding the Catholic faith. Yeah, it's it's basically that it could trigger uh, religious people, basically. Like, it's not my case. It's, I suppose, not the case of uh, most of you in chat. But, you know, I actually like that they included it there. Because uh, people that still um, retain their religious faith, they are kind of being ignored because there is a lot of, like... Uh, blasphemy towards them uh, of course for me it's not blasphemy but for them it is and like no one really uh thinks that it actually can trigger them so i i i, I like that it's included even if i'm not religious myself uh, marisa marcel if is more than just an enigma born in france marisa moved to london in the late 60s where she worked as a photographer's model her appearance in a soap commercial was spotted by a casting director and led to her being cast from thousands of hopefuls by Arthur Fisher as uh, Matilda in his 1968 film Ambrosia. The movie was never released. Marcel followed this up with, uh, with the 1970 movie Minsky, a collaboration with her DP, director... what? I don't know what DP is, uh, from Ambrosia, John Durick. The movie was never finished. Marshall was not heard for over 20 years, until in 1999 she reappeared to film Two of Everything, reuniting with John Durick, now a successful and acclimated director. With Durick's death, this movie was also shuttered. Marisa Marcel was never heard from again. In 1968, many thought Marcel would become a huge star, but these days she is largely forgotten. A few dedicated enthusiasts have attempted to find her lost movies and floated their own theories of what happened to Marisa Marcel to no avail. Then in 2020, a breakthrough. A large cache of film was discovered containing footage from all three of Marcel's movies. After carefully collating and scanning the footage, we have created this piece of computer software in an attempt to preserve this work and share it so that Marisa may live again in the hearts of audiences. I will look up uh, John Durick. Is, does he actually exist? Wait, is it... Uh... John Durick with the... No, I don't know why I wrote it without age. Yeah, it's it's only about... Yeah. Okay, so so the game is fictitious. Okay, good to know. <laughs> like, they, they make it so realistic. Like, their descriptions and so on are, like, so... Yeah. 
that I had no idea that if, if it actually was um, was real or not. So English, date format, uh, no. I actually want days first and months second. Uh, language English, sound. Okay, movie, music. I will change that if uh, we need to. Video, full screen, video quality, high. Okay, delete progress, no. Start. Yeah, it's definitely good writing. Uh, Sam Barlow is... Uh, very well acclaimed for movies, uh, well, uh, FMV games like uh, Her Story or Telling Lies. And I'm very excited to play this. I haven't played those uh, other games by him, by the way. Every piece of restored film footage from Maurice and Marcel's career is organized here on the grid. Zoom three times. Zoom one time. So I have to start here. Okay. Well, once a piece of footage is selected, press spacebar to play or simply click on it again. Let's start with the first one. Or actually, let's start with this one because it's like the intro from the game. Scree the footage. Once a piece of footage is selected, press spacebar to play or simply click on it again. Okay. So basically, this is like uh, it's supposed to be corrupted. Uh, this in oh, damn it! This interactive restoration emulates the Moviola machines that would have been used to review this footage originally. Click and drag in a direction to scrub the footage. Flick to spin the reel. Spin several times to move uh, quickly. Click the screen or press spacebar to pause. You can. You may also use uh, the key, the arrow keys, to spin the reel in a direction, holding shift for smaller nudges. Oh wow, I will not remember this. I will forget about these controls. Now you must... Okay, so that's how you, you can drag to move it forward or backward. To navigate and organize the footage, we provide a novel concordance feature. Pause the feature and then press tabulator or click the eye button to enter image mode. Move the eye Oh, well, the mouse cursor, I suppose, over a key image, such as an actor's face or an important prop. Click the image or press spacebar and the concordance will match cut to another shot in which it appears. New footage will be added to the film grid. Now, you must be, uh, you must be very excited. I am excited. <laughs> now, you look very young in person. People always say that. You look, what, 15, 16? Mm, maybe. Can, uh... Can we tell the people at home how old you actually are? Yes, I'm 20. That is correct. She doesn't look 15, 16. What do you mean, finished. you pedophile? Finished, right? Yeah, it's finished. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you don't know, it's a bit of a fairy tale. So Arthur Fisher, the great director, who uh, you probably know from his movies such as Marion and uh, The Man Who Dreamed, was casting for his new movie, Ambrosio. And so instead of casting a recognizable face, he, uh, he wanted to find some fresh talent. So he put the word out and saw, how many was it? Uh, 10,000? Oh, I think it was over 20,000. 20,000. Mm -hmm. He saw 20,000 girls, and long story short, he picked you. Yes. And you'd never acted before. Uh, not on the screen. I had uh, done modeling, and I liked the theater. Yeah. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. I believe we have a short clip here. Do you want to tell us what we're about to see? Yes, so I play Matilda, and, well, I don't want to spoil things too much. <laughs> uh, she's a young woman who sneaks into a monastery disguising herself as a monk, and then there's a lot of Drama and magic and intrigue. Uh, can I go to the main menu? No? God damn it, I cannot. Okay. Marissa Marcel as Matilda, a woman disguised as a young monk. Here we go. Oh my god. The same magic that powers this lens can also grant you what you wish. How so? You remember the night that I was to die, when we took to St. Clair's sepulchre? That night, I performed a rite. I 
summoned a fallen angel to aid me. What a feat. Wow. Quite a role for your first movie. <laughs> well, Mr. Fisher was quite the teacher. Now I heard he can be quite demanding. Well, you know, he has a, an idea of the picture in his head, and um, nothing is going to come between him and that, not even the actors. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is <clears throat> Mr. Fisher's first film with nudity, correct? Yes, well, you know, he felt that a modern motion picture should reflect the times. And you uh, film this in Europe? Correct. They go for that in Europe, the nudity. Our, our producer said... Okay. Uh, I mean, it's the 70s, so... We are lucky we die naked, so why not shoot the movie naked? <laughs> well put. He kept his clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and the picture is out soon? I hope so. Yeah, and now, you're not in New York only to talk about Ambrosio, but uh, you're filming another picture. That's right, yes, with uh, John... So Jones wait, this Jones just continues forever? Writing it together. That is like, how, how long are these clips? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, so what is, what is this movie about? So uh, it's called Minsky, and uh, it's about uh, an artist who was killed, and the suspect, the number one suspect, is his muse. That's the part I play. And there is a detective investigating, and he falls for her. So, okay. Ah, okay, so I can click on the microphone. I can also click on her. I like our okay, so I want to go image grid. The image grid allows you to revisit and sort the images you have collected from Marissa Marcel's movies. Press uh, tabulator or click the movie icon, which is here, to switch between the film grid and the image grid. Okay. Okay, sound. Movie. More. We're rolling. Music. More. I will also... Interface, I guess. Can I make it louder somehow? Controls, okay. Video, yeah. But the touch is infinity. Okay, now it's a little bit uh, louder. Not this. This reminds me of an older game around 2005, I think. It had full FMV sequences, but it was a horror thriller point and click adventure. Nin 95, not 05. That's uh, almost 30 years old game. Interesting. I like fucking also, I don't think it's great art. What? Okay, but the music is. Hmm. I'm here because we found Minsky dead. I particularly wanted to tell you that before everyone else to see a reaction. He was a difficult man. I guess someone will interview me for the book they write about his life. I will tell them that he was okay. They won't ask about me. When was the last time you saw him alive? Yesterday, breakfast. You two were lovers? He was his own lover. I was his muse. First I stayed because he needed me to. We should talk some more, more private. A bar. <laughs> Will you drive me? I'll have an officer drive you. I'll walk to you. Ah, love it. Love the chemistry. Should we uh, do two shots and start the pain back? You hear that? We got chemistry. Can we reset the champagne? Okay. Let's keep going with uh, Marisa Marcel. It wasn't an accident. Two new flavors orange and berry. Okay, that's. Bring the billboard back up and we'll go again. Reset the billboard. Okay. So. Wait, I can I can I can uh change to the eye? Okay. 
It was a hot kiss. <laughs> kiss involves more senses than penetration. It's a magical thing. I give you surprise and hotness on the day, and that works for me. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Scene 30, rehearsal. Heather, as Maria walks with her roller bag through a throng of paparazzi and adoring fans, bouncers clear the way to a secure door, which takes her to... Whew, airside counter. Then after a beat, we notice Mark. Mark? Hey, baby. Uh, are you coming with me? No, I just wanted to see you off. Gary got me in. I'll miss you. Oh, I'll only be gone three days. Too long. Damn. I could just eat you up. Now give me a kiss. Why are they making from her like an overly wow. sexualized? Oh, I was gonna save that for the cameras. <laughs> I should go. I don't want to miss my flight. No way. Of course. Safe flight. Bye, Mark. Uh, Christina Campbell, Maria. Beep. Mm -hmm. Back here, we'll take care of it. Have a good flight. I'm a big fan. Thank you. Oh, uh, they'll take you out to the plane. And cut. Should I know that the kiss is different? I mean, is it a better kiss than with Marina? Maria, a different kiss, or... Do I sense nothing? It's just a good kiss. How did it feel then? How did it feel? Uh, I was surprised. I don't usually kiss in rehearsal. It was a hot kiss. <laughs> kiss involves more senses than penetration. It's okay, we thing. we saw this already. Any surprise and hotness on the day. Get out! Wait, let's start from the beginning. 34 Charlie, day two. The, the has a, he had a Spanish accent. Action. I expected you in my cell, my love. I've not the heart for it. What ails you? I had assumed confession would have restored your appetite. Desist. Hold it. Keep wrong. They're from the top. More sexual, Marissa. Okay? Hmm. Yeah, they're definitely portraying I expected you a very know. sexist uh, movie director. What ails you? I had assumed confession would have restored your appetite. It's a sister. I'm sad until then. Tonight I met a girl as pure as Ambrosia once was. I wondered what it would be to be her husband. To comfort her as I listen to her jokes. To kiss away her tears. But I'm a monk. I shall never marry. And to be with her outside of marriage. To use her admiration of me to work her ruin. I could never debase her innocence like that. Is he talking about Durr? What about another girl? I think he's talking about Durr, uh, about her. I mean, he's very angry for a monk. Also, the painting is from her again. He has a dull knife. His knife is completely like bland. Wow. Okay. We'll turn around the painting. We'll pick up from get out. Get ready to go again. Get a real knife, Arthur. Yeah, it was a super bouncy knife. 
I like to start the movies from the beginning. 32 Apple, take two. Oh! We cutting? Yes. So wait, are they actually doing that? I thought he was just acting. I don't think. Yeah, I think they are actually doing it. Okay, that's a uh, kind of that's very messed up. Scene twenty six. Bravo. Take eight. I'll do it. I'll do the party. All right. All right, let's figure out the logistics. No one can ever know. I want to go straight into another one. I think I can get it without cheating. If not, let's try Tony's magnet thing. It's worth doing it right, right, John? John? Wait, what? So, okay, th th this scene was very confusing. First of all, I didn't understand if her uh, swinging the phone meant that, like, the testing meant that uh, they wanted the first time it to be straight at one of the papers. So they are testing and not actually recording. But, uh, or if in the movie she was like, it said no, okay, it's a test. It said no, okay, it's a test. It said yes, okay, for real. Like, she was like basically testing all the time until she got a yes. Which, you know, people sometimes do. They're like, okay, I will flip, flip a coin, but then they flip it again and again until they get the answer they want, which is incredibly stupid, but people do that. Also, the second thing I didn't understand is like, were they actually like surprised that they are not answering? Did something happen to them? I should stop clicking on her face because it will only lead me to the sexual scenes. However, maybe it, the, these three movies have only sexual scenes. We don't know. We shall find out. At the end first, now we're shooting the beginning. Which I like the character. He's a guy who's ruined by a woman. Mm -hmm. How did John put it? Hollowed out. Is it novel to see a story where a woman uses and abandons a man? I guess it's like a noir. But here, Franny's not the bad guy. I guess that's the challenge with the filmmaking how to make her a murderer and sympathetic. The great miracle of this world is that women do so little murdering. I should put that in there. 
And Miss Marcel, a question for you. What does Carl Greenwood taste like? Good question. That's a good question. Mm. Is this part of the movie or is it not part of the movie? I'm confused. His mouth tastes like watermelon and whiskey. Mm. His sweat tastes like salted butter mm -hmm. from Brittany. Mm. Salted butter. And his seed. Okay, enough. Uh... Let's see if there is... Is this part of her? A hand. Okay. Just a nick. <laughs> I'll grab a tissue. Okay. Samson has been robbed of his strength. Do you feel like a new man? I was starting to get used to the hippie look. And now the shave. Your fans like you clean shaven? Mm-hmm. Can I have a go? Okay, so she has a go and then he cut... Nothing cut his throat. We only have the ending, that's not enough. <laughs> Just a nick. <laughs> I'll grab a tissue. Okay. Antonio! Fifty-six, Charlie. Take five. All right. Ambrosio from God Has Compelled will walk us up here in After Pleasures of the Flesh. And action. God has compelled me to follow in St. Clair's example. I too have shunned society and devoted myself to prayer and to a pure life that brings me closer to God. Let's show that this devotion has power, that it can manifest in the world. Purity is an act that lifts those around us. We shun the rewards of a corporal life. We shun the cheap pleasures of the flesh. We bask in the love of God. Claire's example compels us to piety. Imagine with me. Claire's journey as she escapes her parents' palace. In the dark of night, she creeps through the basement, escaping out the door we call the door of the dead. She is reborn. She ran to a chapel where, where she cut her hair, shed her expensive clothes, swapping them out for ash cloth. Antonio, hey, the Virgin. What devilry is at work here? Spot, spot. And cut, marvelous Sophia. Mark that spot. Let's set up there for good. Check the gate. 